Hello guys and welcome back. So now from this video onwards we will start working on our shooting controller. For the shooting controller first of all we need a rifle. So for the rifle I will be using this SCAR rifle which is from the Sketchfab website. So you can go ahead and open up Sketchfab and then search for low poly FN SCAR H. This is the creator name okay. This is a free to download weapon. So if you want you can download this weapon or if you want you can use some other weapon as well okay but I'm, I will be using this one so you can download it from here login and download the FPX file of this SCAR L alright or else you can get it from here as well you can just go ahead and download the zip file which we provided and in there you will find this SCAR so you can just simply drag and drop this inside the game folder Right here it is. If you click on it, this is the rifle model right here. Okay, and once you have this rifle, then as you can see right here, I've changed the scale factor of it to 0 0.1 and the convert units is tick right here. Now, if we scroll down right here, we need to add the weapon to the player hand. So, open up the player game object, then hips, then spine spine one spine two then open up the right shoulder right arm right forearm and then in the right hand you can just drag and drop this weapon all right and then we can resize this weapon according to the player hand so let me change the y to 0.6 and the z to 0.6 as well and this will be the weapon all right Now once the weapon is in the player hands, the next thing which we need to do is to set up the animations for our shooting, okay? So for the animations, what we're going to do is we're going to create blend tree, alright? And for the animation, the rifle animation or you can say the shooting animation, we will be creating two blend trees. The first one will be the simple rifle animation and the second one will be for when the player is aiming, alright? That animations. Let me show you. In the animations, if you click on rifle, let's check its animation. As you can see, this is rifle aiming idle. And then we have just idle. Alright, so these are two types of different animations. Okay, so let's create a blend tree first of all. Name this just rifle. Alright, then you can open this up and in here this will be 2D free from directional. In the parameters select horizontal then vertical. Alright, let's add three motions. Okay, make this 0, then right here, the second one will be 0.5 and the next one should be 2. Okay, then for the animations, what we're going to do is, let's open these animations first of all. Okay, since these will be the simple animations, so for the idle, we're going to use this animation. Then for the walk, we will use this one, which is rifle walk. And then we have this rifle run. Alright, there are two rifle run. This is the rifle aim run and then this one is just the rifle run. Okay, so make sure that you add that one. So once this is set up, now we can duplicate this rifle blend tree and now name this as rifle aim okay once you do that then we will change the animations in here so now we will add this one then for the walk we're gonna add this one and for the run we will use this one okay if you play it now as you can see it works perfectly fine 
okay we have now these two blend trees the next thing which we will be doing is to add the parameters so let's first of all add a pool by the name of rifle active then another pool by the name of rifle aim active then a trigger by the name of reloading then another trigger by the name of reloading walk and then another bool this will be crouch active all right once you add that then make a transition from movement to rifle then from rifle to movement select the transition remove as exact time and right here set the rifle active to true and in the other one remove as exact time and set the rifle active to false all right then make a transition from rifle to rifle aim and back again to the rifle remove as exact time from both of them in the first transition set the rifle aim active to true and the second one make it false all right now we need to add the reloading animations as well okay so let me see where are that animations reload in here we have the reload walk this is the reload running and the simple reload so i'm just going to drag and drop the reloading walk and the idle reloading okay and then let me give some space in here okay let's move these two right here then make a transition from reloading to rifle and then from reload to rifle uh, rifle and then make it a uh, transition from reloading to rifle aim and from reload as well okay name this as reloading idle or idle reload and then this one is the walk reload okay so make sure that you just make transition from idle reload to rifle and to the rifle aim okay and then from walk reload to rifle and rifle aim okay and not from rifle to the reload just make a transition from reload to the rifle and rifle aim and that is it okay you don't have to remove the as exact time or anything so our controller is set up now the next thing which we need to set up is the rifle in the player hand so for that what we're gonna do is let me show you you can drag and drop this animation right here okay and set this as the default okay and then you can go ahead and play the game as you can see the player is in the aiming position so we're gonna click on scene view without stopping the game open up the player and in the player we have this rifle right here so now let's position it correctly so we're gonna move it like this and then straight all right make this 90 this one to 15 this one to 105 okay let's move it right here then inside the player hands let's check it from this position okay let's move it forward a little bit and 
and move it up okay I think it looks good in this position as you can see okay the player is not walking because we are just playing a single animation all right so now before stopping the game you can click on scene view there is the player okay select the rifle copy its transform okay I'm just gonna copy it two times just to be make sure then stop the game and select the rifle back again and then simply click on paste component values that is it okay you can then remove this uh, rifle aiming idle animation okay and you can set the rifle active to true so that it plays the rifle animations actually uh, the rifle aim active set that to true and then play the animation I mean play the game okay there is the player let me check it okay we forgot to make a transition from movement to the rifle aim okay so from movement make a transition to rifle aim and then from rifle aim back to movement select the first transition remove that and right here set the rifle aim to true and in the next transition remove as exact time and set the rifle aim active to false then make sure the rifle aim active is true and then play the game All right, so now as you can see the player is holding the rifle perfectly fine and the player a can walk as well okay and the player can run as well as you can see holding the rifle in the best position possible which we set up all right so it looks perfectly fine as you can see okay uh, the animations are set up the rifle is set up as well and now from the next video we're gonna work on our shooting controller so see you guys in the next one